anything until you confirm it fucking works. I think we're live. I, th I think. Make yeah. sure. Ah, 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 ah. I brought it back to life with my laughing, but nothing's happening. It's oh, it's kind of moving, but very slowly. That's because I'm not doing anything. Wait, have you thought maybe it's not us, or maybe it's Twitch? No. Is it working now, Definitely. Pantsman? It's working. Yeah, it's we're, we're doing now. it. We're doing the thing. Mwahaha -ha -ha and all that jazz. Shiny, shiny shoes or whatever my name is. Shiny right. short. Shiny short. Start insulting us. Yeah, do an insult. How so many times <laughs> off camera? Primary objective is to well, how about Mr. To Evil? Villain. I refuse Attack. to be your monkey. I won't take your commands. Oh, that's good. All right. Great. Um, we just shot that same segment about 400 times. Uh, this was easily the worst one. A uh, viewership, welcome back. Thank you for bearing with us while Dixie loses his goddamn mind. Uh, it, here we are. We had technical difficulties. We had human difficulties as well. All right. Um, back to the show. Uh, for those of you that somehow cut out pre end of last feed and catching back up to this feed, Pants Man's currently a villain named Shiny Shorts, and uh, Boo's still awake, and we're probably going to get this stream cut too because Dixie's lost his goddamn mind. Uh, Boo. Yes. Uh, every once in a while, you like to pitch a show idea to us. It's usually a knockoff version of a Disney show. Uh, what do you got today for us in a new segment? That's an old segment but we're currently calling Go Boozness. So, so yeah, we really got to work on that name. Um, so, I've said that it 500 times today. T today's show is, you know, I've seen a lot of political figures get TV shows, movies, musicals based on them. But there's a lot of political figures that people have forgotten about. There's a lot of political figures people don't give enough credit for. So today I am going to do a show, and I figured it's going to be a show that could be on for seven, eight years, maybe more, ten episode seasons, maybe more. Um, and this is about a great man. This man grew up in Indiana. Um, and in 1976, his whole life changed when he uh, was elected to the House of Representatives from Indiana's 4th Congressional District. This man would really continue to grow the state of Indiana, and at age 33, he became the youngest person ever elected to the Senate for the state of Indiana. Yes, the you all know who I'm talking about. This is the Dan Quayle Show. Please, join us each week where we learn so much about Dan Quayle. The man that went on to be the 44th Vice President of the United States of America. Come join us as we find out the ups and downs of this great American hero. Oh my Please God. join that was, me. That was so Monday boring night. until the until the surprise reveal. Wait, well done. Monday nights from 8:45 to 9 o'clock. No one cares. All right, all right, you got you did the thing. Dan no one cares. <laughs> Easily the most boring intro to a show you've ever done, and probably your, at least your second best show idea so far. Thank you. We didn't even talk about the Murphy Brown incident and everything. There's so much for this show. I don't understand why why that isn't a show or more talked about. I feel like, obviously, they made fun of Dan Quayle back in the day, and then I've never heard anyone talk about him other than you since, and I don't really get why, because it was an absolute disaster. <laughs> I think it really is, and this is a much larger conversation we can have, nobody cares about the vice presidents. Sure, which is why, oh, well, first of all, is like a super popular show, though, because of that I, whole plot, but like, a super popular show. Like, there's v, there's VP money out there right now, just off VP alone, I think. Well, and our current president is the former vice president. Did, did you just mute and unmute there? Dixie? Um, <laughs> nope, yeah, I'm here. The, nope, the system, uh, for some reason, uh, paused. Oh, okay. You do, you definitely have to find, find yeah, yeah, you definitely is... have to turn silent mute on right now. Because we, every time we can tell when you dip out. I actually did change it to silent mute. To silent mute. I'm going to say you didn't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <challenge> <laughs> did you hear that? I just muted and unmuted. Uh, no. 
I there you think. go. All right. <laughs> Progress is being made. All right, is that uh, is that all you got for the Dan Quayle show? Yeah, Dan Quayle. Oh. Great. And when, when's that airing? Okay, you fell asleep? Great. Oh, yeah, you had a good run. Maybe I murdered him. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. You murdered him. I'm, I'm being very honest right now. I'm grabbing a piece of cheese. Just give me 10 seconds. You don't have to be what? that honest. You do not have to be that honest. <laughs> what what piece of cheese are you grabbing? Not that I really care, but we're here now. It's an American slice. It's a, it's white American. I love white American cheese. What the hell is white American? What? Is that craft? You are, buddy. Yeah. Is that craft single? No, I've never bought craft in my life. I get the sliced cheese. I only get cheese. white American. Yeah. Relax. You're not a cheese elitist, all right? I'm I'm super into cheese. I'm a cheeseman. Well, you picked a terrible one. Excuse me. My my real name is Boo Cheeseman Radler. It is not. That's not your fault. All right, calm down, fine. Rachel Jackson. <laughs> nice. Uh, you can be either Jackson or my book, buddy. All I right. just remembered that Boo wasn't there for that one, yet he laughed at the joke. I, I understand humor. I don't know what to tell you. Once again, guys, <laughs> you, if you didn't see it yet, go back and watch, uh, I think it was episode six, is that right? Pa uh, Pants Man? You tie, yeah. You give us the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Go back and watch yeah. episode six, the Great Debate. Heck of an episode. Boo wasn't there, so he should probably watch it as well. Oh, uh, is that the episode that I literally canceled four minutes before you're about to start streaming? Yeah. 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 It's officially oh. called Episode Six: President's Day Spectacular. Yeah. Great up. Again, Boo, you should also watch it. Yeah. All know. right. This this is a good lead in to this next segment. Um, as you guys know, the world has lost its goddamn mind. Everyone seems pissed off. I think in general, I'm not really that mad. Uh, but every once in a while, someone like Boo shows up and pisses me off. So I thought you, all three of you could help piss me off in a segment called What Peeves Jeeves. But, time out. Time out. I want to point out, just because something uh, peeves you doesn't mean it should piss you off. Those aren't really oh. the same thing. Oh, I pee my pants every time I get mad. Every time I'm peed, I'm peed. All right, what, yeah. do you, what do you got for me, Bo? Um, so, again, this segment is something that, that peeves us, so we see, we'll find out if it peeves you. So that's what you, pro you proposed that. We didn't go with that last time, but it's fine. You, you can do that, and I will rate it and or talk about it. Great. So for me, it's um, tap backing on, in, on group cell phone conversations. Yeah, obviously that doesn't make anyone mad. I, what rational person would be like, oh, uh, this is a very efficient form of communication. I'm so mad that you used it. Excuse oh. me, at least one other person on the stream has complained about how annoying it is. Um, you, do you mean just you? No, um, uh, uh, Dixie did not like it either. Uh, Dixie did but, like it. I, I think Boo Radley is referring to Boo, to Boo Radley too. Yeah, I think his, <laughs> his, his fourth best friend. Contract is settled. Good work out of it. I will say, I, I have no problem with it, but I, there are two things about it that I think could be better. One is that um, when your phone is blocked, uh, instead of just showing you like somebody hard at a thing, like it gives you this yeah. very long winded text that is very uh, too much. Agreed. Um, and the noise like is weird. weird. It what? does seem like they could throw in just the emoji into that update, but. Yes. Did you say yeah. the noise is weird? You can change the noise, first of all. I didn't say the noise is weird. No, yeah, Boo said that. You can't get oh. mad about something you're allowed to change. You're just dumb. The, the other thing I will point out about it that I don't like is I have a, uh, I'm in part of a group chat where they're, they're constantly asking questions and then being like, all right, vote by, uh, you know, vote for, like, I'm going to post three different dates on when we can do this thing. Uh, heart the date you want to pick. And the idea it's is to get like a tally. Which this is, is not the fault of. This is not the fault of Tapback. This is the fault of your terrible group chats here. Man. I agree, but I'm saying nice, nice it doesn't friend, work nice because you can't easily find out how many people picked the thing. Yeah. Um, why not? Yeah, you can. You just kind of hover it. You do. Yeah, it's no, not that hard. I, I found that it doesn't actually. It used to work where if I'd hover on it, it would show me the the names of the people that voted for things, but it doesn't. It doesn't do that. 
definitely still does that. Try, by the way, by the way, maybe nice, try it. Nice flex pants, man. That turned another group chat. Way to brag. Way to brag. <laughs> oh, I'm so popular. People are just liking yeah. the hard things in all my group chats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap a thing. I want you guys to tap it as well. Uh, okay. Well, we're doing a show, so I'm not gonna do that now. But I'll check in later. Oh, I just got a text message. Wait, this is so frustrating. It just says, "I can't." Pants man, love. Your so is YouTube. I think. Okay. I mean, bad texting, but again, no problem with the tap back. Perfectly efficient. You're a psychopath. Three out of ten because you make me mad, not because the subject makes me mad. Okay, great. Next one. Um, I can go yeah. next. I can go next. Okay. All right. Um, I think what peeves Jeeves is when people bail last minute different <laughs> things. Let's say like a show. No. Okay. No. And, and again, I was not annoyed. I was not annoyed that he bailed. I wasn't annoyed that he bailed last minute. I was annoyed that you texted six hundred goddamn times and then bailed twenty minutes to go. At no point in the fucking six hundred text messages that you sent yesterday. Or two days to go. Did you have once mentioned that you were a little bit tired? And out of ten. Is that you're surprised by this? Yeah. Why did everything, everything I've done be done up to the COVID? Absolutely not. You are you are not someone who bails on things. Usually, usually you you let us know that you're not going to do something, and then you don't. You're you're tough to sway. I'll give you that. That is not what happened here. You you pitched like seven show segment ideas and then bailed. Well, it, it, it won't be the last time, that's for sure. No, it should be the last time. You can tell us if you're tired ahead of time. I can text or, you every day if you're tired. It's, it, like I said, it ain't don't, easy being... Don't pitch show ideas. First you off, also should you know, know like two know. hours to go that you're getting more tired. As you know, my new slogan that I just created five seconds ago is it ain't easy being be re or boo, uh, boo razzy. <laughs> Don't even know your own slogan. Oh nope. God. Horrible. So that slogan, 10 out of 10, makes me mad. It ain't easy being boo razzy. Why do you have a slogan that doesn't rhyme that's horrible? Because that describes your personality. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, absolutely awful human being. Again, it's going to be really tough, uh, shiny shorts, to overcome booze villainry. <laughs> Just a no. horrible person. <laughs> Absolute monster. Uh, okay, pants man, what do you got for me? Or sorry, shiny shorts man. Guy, whatever the fuck your name is. Two words. Laura okay. Long. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're calling her what? LL Cool. What the fuck do you L call her, Bill? LL Cooling. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna uncharacteristically uh, abstain from that one. I'm gonna stay very far away from that topic. Enemy team is tracking your <laughs> I'll say five out of ten, just to be, just to still give it a rating. Okay. Does anyone have any others they want to try to try to take a shot at real quick? Oh, I got one. I have another one. Stopping the stream midstream. Oh my god, I'm so fucking upset. <laughs> Why would you do that? There was especially a reason when, for it. Especially when every single person was like, don't stop the stream, it'll be fine. And then someone has a panic attack and stops the stream and then starts it up 500 fucking times. Jesus Christ, 10 out of 10. So I have a question for you. And actually, this is a good one because someone like in job interviews all the time, I ask people like what what uh, peeves them, um, and they said this. And also, with you being a a girl, uh, a person dad, sorry, I should say. Um, you, can say you can say girl dad. We've said she's my daughter. No, it's it's I, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with gender roles in twenty twenty two. Okay, ten out of is, ten. You're exhausting me. <laughs> what is your what is your what is your thoughts on glitter? <laughs> glitter. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell a uh, story real quick. I don't. I think I've told you guys this, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Um, my loving wife, who's great, one year decided for my birthday that she was going to uh, do like this little beer scavenger hunt, which was a great idea, really fun. Um, for some reason, for her to make the clues, she elected to use. Like 
glitter around whatever text she wrote, uh, which whatever, I probably didn't even notice. Actually, I would have no idea, uh, except that she prepared this ahead of time. And so like with a month to go to my birthday, I was like looking in the mirror one day and I was like looking at my face, I was like, what kind of glitter on my face? What the fuck? And so I go to my wife, and who at the time was my girlfriend, and I go, do I have glitter on my face? And she panicked because that was part of the gift, I guess. And so she said no, and then proceeded to do that, I think four more times, and I thought I was going fucking crazy. And then she finally told me at the end of the scavenger hunt on my birthday that I wasn't going crazy and that she's a nutcase. So she really can't ask what you from for your birthday. Yeah, she, she, kept, she kept lying to me that there was glitter, on, saying there wasn't glitter on my face when there was like a speck here or a speck there to throw me off the scent of my birthday gift. My question is, how could you not tell there was glitter? Like, why, why were you so... It was like, am I just catching the light funny or like what? Because it would be like one piece in a weird spot and she'd be like, and it's not like we have a ton of glitter around the apartment at the time. And so I was like, I don't know where this would have come from. I'm just looking at like... Yeah, but glitter's pretty clear. Like, you know when it's glitter. It's not... It was missed. like... It was, it was like a smaller piece. It was just like, it would only be if like I turned my face and caught the light. It was just like... Also... It was precarious glitter. How did it get on your face in the first place? I, she was like making it in like, I think probably my office or something. And just well, like one... Well, you while he was sleeping, she had to hover over him to do it. That was yeah, all part of it. <laughs> yeah, would, I don't actually... She would, she would dump the glitter onto the thing, and then you know how you to kind of uh, hang it upside down to get rid of all the excess glitter? And she did that over his face while he was asleep. So are you ready to answer the question now? Uh, oh, yeah, so that may be bad. <laughs> I was like, you could have told me that glitter would be part of it. Uh, why would that wasn't, why was that a secret? And she said she wasn't sure. She panicked and then had to double down for the next month. Um, so that made me mad. But other than that, I, oh, and our fucking, the wall of our guest bedroom. For some reason, the psychopaths that painted the room, they had like, they had a daughter, I guess. And for some reason, those crazy people did this like shitty glitter paint on it. And Oof. it's like, yeah, it's like, first of all, it looks not good. And second, it's like, it's that glitter paint, which exists. It's just like glitter on the wall painted over. So oh, like, geez. it's That's a terrible. fucking nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. We have to hope that our daughter loves glitter. Uh, and it's like a super girly girl because there, there's no way to handle this otherwise we have to like all scrape the fucking wall all of these are making it seem like you're not a fan of glitter for the record well so those are the two reasons i hate glitter the most um i've never been glitter bombed that would also probably enhance my hate for it but I, i'm gonna put put it like a six i think so to be clear every experience you've ever had with glitter you hated but because you haven't had as many you're just yeah. trying to read it more. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you I, don't uh, care about starving children because you're not yourself a starving child. I just want to point out yeah. that we're. I mean, such, it doesn't make me mad. We are such a manly, masculine show that we just had a 10 minute discussion about glitter. That's how masculine this show is. Do sequins count as glitter? When does it become glitter? I think it's about the size. If. If you, um, like a sequin, you're never going to be in a situation where you lose a sequin and it fall like, he's never going to follow you around. Like, with glitter, if you have even just a small little card with a little bit of glitter on it in your home, you'll be dealing with glitter for days. Whereas a sequin, worst case, like, one falls down and then you find it and throw it away. Like, you cannot get, like, a sequin is not going to fall, it's not going to, you're not going to touch it. And then it sucks to your skin for the rest of the day. Whereas glitter, once it touches you, it, the only way to get rid of it is to absorb it into your skin. Well, I said, interestingly, the only reason I brought it up is because when I was in kindergarten, I got a sequin stuck up my nose. I had to go to the doctor. They had to flush it out. In kindergarten, I made a pet rock and I added googly eyes to it, but I was so aggressive with my googly eyes, I pressed so hard to get them to stay on that 
I kind of dented the plastic and trapped the little eyeball parts in spots. So now they're always looking down, and the it just looks really sad. Do you still have this pet yeah, rock? I was gonna say. Oh, I'm never it. getting rid of it. I'm looking uh, at it. I'm touching it right now. Did you send a picture out? Put it on the stream. Nah. Okay. Do you, a, do you have a name for this rock? You know, I've never named it. What? You put eyes on something and then didn't give it a name? You know what else? So in the thing, we had this paint, and I painted the front of it, but we weren't painting, like, the sides or the back. But I was such a, like, weird child that I bothered me that only the front was colored. So I took a red marker and just, like, markered up the back and was genuinely disappointed that it uh, really didn't look the same as paint. This is all on brand for paint. Oh, I guess I guess I, I'm more worried about you now than I was at the start of your story. You can't you can't put googly eyes on something and not name it. How about Heathrow? No, well, you can't. No, I mean I don't hate the name, but it feels disingenuous. Disingenuous. Well, well, what? Why wouldn't you name it? You gave it eyeball. You gave it the ability to see. I was five. You're not five anymore. You haven't been five for many years in between being yes. five. Yes, but understand, um, when I was five, it didn't occur to me to name it. I wasn't going to be like eight years old and go, oh, shit, that thing that I never think about that's just always sitting there, it needs a name. Like maybe if I created it as an eight-year-old, I would have thought, let's give it a name, but I didn't. So What, what psychopath kid like, realizes that they can give something eyes and then doesn't think to go name like, that is absolutely serial be killer behavior. It already Total. had eyes by the time... It... You put them on! Yes, but I was too young to name it. You put the eyes on so hard that you broke the eyeballs. Like, that's, like... That's, you really were bearing the lead. That's the part that's iconic. Yeah, both of it's like, yeah, it's a real good bid for your villain, right? Absolute villain behavior. Oh, all right, one second. I'm, I'm about to be dying. About to be dead. No, you're about to be dying. Okay. <laughs> um, chill, 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 chill. The guy that killed Vitalis tried to kill me, for reasons unknown. Uh, I did not. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, Boo, you've already done YouTube questions, but do we have any Twitch stream questions today? Do we have any Twitch queue? Do you only have one? If you could be any cartoon character, who would you be and why? It doesn't say who it's open to, so anyone who wants to answer can ask. Cat dog. All right, slow down. As always, who, Cat who dog. asked the question? Um, uh, T money twenty two seven seven six six two two eight. Also Cat sounds dog. like a password. I don't think you guys know how usernames work. Uh, okay. You said if we had to have sex with a cartoon, who would it be? Is that no, what the question if, if you could be any cartoon character, who would it be? Interesting, oh. though, that you went there. Yeah. I assume, well, I assume that you said it would have went there with Cat Dog to wonder how it worked. I couldn't remember the no. question at all. I was just going off the answer. I want to be Cat Dog. I don't want to. Why? That sounds, like, sounds like your absolute nightmare, always having someone around with you. I'm both of them, though. No, that's not. Is that how that works? I didn't say yeah. I want to be Cat. I said I'm going to be cat dog. Um, does anyone does anyone want to override my ruling that that's definitely not an acceptable answer? Yeah, it's a personal answer. We don't judge personal answers here. It's no. He picked two people. That'd be like, oh, if I picked all the cast of Hey Arnold. That's an answer. That's a question. great choice. That's yeah, a great cast. The, question, the question was which character, not which group of characters would you like to be. Cat no, it dog isn't. It's is both a character and two separate characters. No, it isn't. It's two characters. No, I 100% I, I agree with uh, Pants Man. If we were casting it like a movie, I'd only cast one person. It, two people play the fucking thing. No, no, that's just a guy that's really talented, or a girl that's really talented. No, it isn't. It's two mm. people. Nope. Sorry. Look, look it up, producer. Yep, it's... it's, it's uh, um, it's it says Tom Chillett. No, it doesn't. You you I know you can't Google that fast. 
What, what is Jeeves saying here? Jeeves is saying that uh, it is two separate people playing uh, cat dog. Yeah, of course. Whoa! Did you know Maria Bamford was on that show? Is that uh, Rizzo? <clears throat> I don't know who Rizzo. Or is that the is that the bad dog girl? Oh, it's a character named Racine and another one called Mrs. Claus. Oh, oh, and so old one, lady. So one-offs. <laughs> These oh. are not starring roles. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, yeah, we're we're on the. That was only the first pick. <laughs> so I, I can go next. Yeah, please do. Um, if I was to be a cartoon character, um, do we call? Do we count game cartoon characters? Um, he yeah, probably. Yeah, I would say Pablo Sanchez from the Backyard Sports Games. Oh, okay. great pick! Hell of a pick! Yeah, you'd actually be good at sports. You'd be very short. All the things you love in life. I would be the best person on the team, though. All right, who would you also – forget uh, – this is a good pick, but who would you pick if you couldn't do video games? Come back to me on this one. Yeah, I got to think about it. Okay, all right. Um, I would go with – I definitely feel like I'm going to leave a lot on the table here, but I think I'm going to go with – yeah, I think I'm going to go with Archer. I just feel like there's it's cartoons. Like there's so many crazy ass cartoons that would be sweet. Now, are we counting right. like cartoon like Batman? Yeah, I was about to say I could yeah. be Batman, for instance. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you guys. You guys all had really great answers. I appreciate that. Well, no, Vitz serves just fuck. Muscle V is still answering. Oh, Muscle V. God, uh, for the record, I would like to, for this is so far, I'm probably going to jinx myself, but so far, um, I have had, I have not had the most amount of name mess ups tonight. So I would like to take full credit for that. How many have only been two credit. and you did one of them? No, I, I did, did one. I did, I did two one. myself. Oh, yeah, you, you have? Two okay. Of um, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a ma massive improvement. Although I think you are at two as well, so I think you might no, be tied with me. No, I'm only at one. I only got Pants Man wrong. I got everyone else right. I'm very proud of myself today, and I'm thinking about every single time I talk. Yeah, I just want to point out you should think every time you talk. It, that would behoove you in many situations. So I do have my pick, um, the cartoon character. Uh, it would be Jerry from Tom and Jerry. What a weird pick. Um, yep. A little weird. What well, do you do? You want to explain why? Yeah, I would always have this cat around that I just always outsmart every single time. Um. Oh, okay. Hey, are you coming back? Oh, sweet. Sweet. Um. Do you want to be a mouse? You want to be a smart mouse. That's like your dream in life, I guess. Well, I can also come terrorize you as well. What? I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's That's kind of true. It's twofold. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I was finally feeling the fucking stroller today. Oh, 10 out of 10 again on that one. Oh, my God. So mad. You served your time, soldier. Have you guys ever cleaned mouse poop? No. A horrible time. Yeah. 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 This I have. In this case, I had to get like it was. It fell in between the folds of the like the stroller. It was, oh my god, it was never ending. It was impossible. I don't think I we have to clean it like two more times because it was so difficult. If there's any other thing, I would just pitch it. Okay, we're uh, we're clearly running out of topic today. Uh, but we're still alive, which is unusual. We're in this unusual turn of events where the show's pretty much over. But we're we our game it, our gamesmanship has outlasted it. Um, it's also it's not like we have a lot of time to kill, right? Like at the most, what a, an hour you would still play, be playing? Oh my god, that's uh, first of all, I think games are like forty-five minutes total. Enemy advancing. 
Um, we, I mean, we've got probably three minutes. Exactly. I'm not so concerned is my point. It's shocking. I like, guess the first time that this has happened at all. Oh, I have to not get myself killed right here. Uh, um, maybe the two of you are actually getting better at this game. Uh, absolutely not. It's been another horrible night. I mean, I would like to say that I think this is a way better performance. Oh, that thank sounds, you. That sounds creepy when I say it that way, so... It sounds creepy when you get hung up on your own sentence. Um, I don't think it was inherently creepy, was it? Telling another Shiny. man performance sounds weird to me. Shiny shorts, do you, think, do you think using the term performer is inherently creepy? Did we lose pants, man? Nah. Okay. He's got blasted with a rocket. Oh, that's sweet. That's my favorite sex position. Bl blasted? With a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Boo? How about you, Boo? What's your favorite sex position? Uh, mission. I'm a, I'm a religious man. Is it... Does that, that work? Was, for I, I really thought that was gonna be a funnier joke. I'm really sorry. That was that was not my best performance. It popped in my head. It, this is called this is a new uh, segment called um, joke analysis with Boo. I, I was just very unhappy. What is happening? I'm dominating. <laughs> Those guys did not see me coming. Oh man! Wow. Oh. What an unlikely turn of... Oh, they were only using a light sniper, the idiots. Uh, we have always said we would have to have more segments about the show, about the game you guys are playing, so we finally got one tonight. Yeah, I, I apparently can't die right now. Do you want to ask any questions about the game that you've been watching now for two and a half weeks? Anything Absolutely you need clarified? Not. Absolutely not. Hey, oh, fire, fire, fire your sound. Can you get me back? Yeah, that's what I was trying to find it. My question is, what do you, why do you think your performance tonight is different than any other night? No, it's not a tonight performance, it's just this single game. Have you been practicing? When would I, when would I be practicing? We're, we have a show four days a week. I thought maybe you do it um, in the morning. I do not. We do do it at, on weekends, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought I killed him. Okay. Oh, really? Wait, did you get... Oh, I brought you back. Oh, my God. This this round never ends. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Pants, man? You got, any, you got any good questions about the game? Anything you need clarified? What, what is this game? This is Warzone. You've watched it a lot. But, like, when does Mario come in? Oh, my God. There was, I feel like there was a time where that would be a real question you would ask. Wait. When we when we first met is, you. Is that a Pokemon? Oh my god. Okay, Boo, how about you? You got any um you got any ways to tweak our performance that would be better? Oh my like not do that, for instance. Oh uh, steroids. You steroids, is that what you said? Yeah, it worked for all those baseball players, so it can work for you guys. Yeah, that's right, and they're still out in the hall. Oh my god, five kills. Let's fucking go. Wow, that was impressive. Performance of the Sench. All of them legal, too. No, I didn't even kill myself once. This is great. Oh, that. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's, let's... What were you saying? I was just going to say, do you think maybe it has nothing to do with you? You just have to be playing with the worst people ever? Yeah, those last two guys I killed were definitely dubs. Were All right. Bad. Let's go around the horn so we can get on out of here. Uh, Boo, what do you got for us? Um, I think, you know, every day is a new day, but it's a new day every day. Okay. <laughs> no. Pants Man, what do you have for us? Mwah, ha, 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 oh, sorry, ha, ha, sorry. Ha, ha. Shiny shorts. My apologies. Mwah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Great. Great. Muscle V, what do you have for us? Got nothing today. Jesus Christ. Low end day, guys. Uh, well, as, as, as always, I'm Jeeves. We appreciate you sledging through hump day with us. A uh, bit of drudgery. Maybe we'll, uh, hopefully, we'll have picked up spirits for tomorrow. But thank you for anyone who humped on with us. Hi, Daddy's out. <laughs>